Hello, my name is Andrew Parker, aka Apricot Andrew, aka Ophelia, aka Spider-Man, and today I'm going to teach you how to escape from handcuffs. Now, I know what you're thinking. Who is this 16-year-old looking skinny white boy to teach me how to escape from handcuffs? You were probably expecting some large tattooed man. What's that? It's a harmful stereotype? Well, that's not my problem. They were thinking it, not me. Well, I'm not Tin the Tat Man, and you're stuck with me. If you don't think I'm gonna be a very good teacher, here's some examples of my past work and times I've escaped handcuffs before. <laughs> Round of applause for me. What? That was pretty epic, pretty awesome, some amazing content. I agree, which is why you should subscribe. Anyways, let's escape some handcuffs. Here we have the tools we're gonna be working with. We have a normal pair of handcuffs. We have a cutout handcuff, which basically means you can see the inner workings in there. Uh, basically this handcuff is naked. And then we have some tools to escape. We're going to go through two different methods of escaping. One with a paper clip and one with a, uh, a shim. I think that's what it's called. Before I go through the two examples of how to escape, we need to talk about how the handcuff works. So basically, this is a handcuff, or half of one. Handcuff, oh, well, it's a handcuff. It's a pair of handcuffs. So what does that mean? Is this one handcuff, or is this a handcuffs? Anyways, there are teeth on this part of the handcuff and on the inside, this little red lever. So when you push the teeth in, they get caught. And uh, basically that's how the handcuff works. That's all you need to know. So let's learn how to escape. For method number one, all you need is a very thin piece of metal. As I mentioned before, the teeth are basically what's important. So what you have to do with this metal piece of metal, nice one, Andrew, is stick it in between the teeth of this part of the handcuff and the red lever, which is on the inside. And if you get it in between there, then the handcuff will move freely. So if I put this on, and I have this piece of metal, what I want to do is jam it right in between here. Now it's not gonna go in all the way unless you put pressure on it and then handcuff yourself a little bit tighter. So the only downfall of this method is that you have to make your handcuffs a slight, a little bit tighter. Um, and if it's already too tight and you can't get it any tighter, um, then you, you probably don't wanna do this method. But normally I think uh, you, you would have a little bit of give room and push on it and handcuff myself a little bit tighter like this, right, and shove it in there. Now we can move the teeth freely backwards and get your handcuff unlocked. I'll do that one more time without it on me so you can see it better. So basically, take this right here, push it in as far as you can go as you're pressing on the piece of metal and pushing the handcuff in. The, you can now see if you do it right, this piece of metal is now in between the teeth of the red lever on the inside and the moving part up here. So now it should be able to move freely backwards and you can open it up. That was method number one, pretty simple. Method number two is a little bit harder, but you don't have to make the handcuffs tighter on yourself. This method uses paper clips. As we know, the teeth of the moving part of the handcuff is held in place by this red lever right here. All handcuff keys have this little piece of metal right here and are shaped basically the same because they all do the same basic function. They push that red lever down. If I put that in there, and then I twist it towards the middle, you can see that red lever go down, and then the handcuff can open up. So, what you have to do with a paper clip is basically recreate that motion and that function, but with a paper clip. To start, what you wanna do, take your paper clip, open it up like a dis, just like a dis one straight end right here. And then you'll hold on to this fat part on the bottom. Put it into the hole. There's a hole right there. So there's the hole for the key right there. You're gonna put that into the hole and bring it up just a little bit. So you don't wanna push it all the way down. You wanna bring it up just a little bit. And then you're gonna put your thumb on the paper clip, just like this and bend it over and flatten it out. So now you have a little bit of a hook on the end. That hook is a little bit big, but it's still usable. So you're gonna take your little paper clip with its hook on the top, put it in the hole for the handcuff key, and then go over to where that red lever is and try to press it down so you can unhook it. 
or rather push the teeth down so this can move freely and out. And then you're free and you can continue your life of crime. Anyways, let's move on to the real handcuff real quick. Now these are normal handcuffs. You can get these on Amazon. Make sure not to get the fuzzy kind, especially if you share the account with your family. Can't see inside this time, but it's the same basic motion. Put it in at the top and then go down and around to unhook it right there. It just takes practice. You need to get the angle correct, but then you'll be able to do it pretty quickly. All right, cool beans. I'm gonna escape one more time. You should now know how to escape handcuffs. You'll get a front view just so if that helps you. Push it in, make a hook. You're gonna push that red lever down. Just push it down, suppress it, just like all those emotions. And it's that easy. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bop, bada pow. And now you know how to escape handcuffs. You know, you wanna co commit more crimes and escape from cops. I don't condone that or whatever reason that my uh, family friendly channel will not allow me to say. Thanks for watching guys. If you wanna see me teaching someone uh, in real life, like a real person, I, I taught my friend Taylor tries how to escape. So if you wanna see like another person's reaction and her trying it and uh, some of the things that she said, maybe that'll help you learn quicker. You can check that video out in the description below. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Carpe diem, we to Espono, go have a great day. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>